Hey there guys, welcome to a video about the new 4.5 preview for Unreal Engine 4.5. <laughs> Alright, so the upcoming release is definitely going to include a ton of stuff. You thought I was going to read this first sentence, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? No. We're just going to go over the major features right now because, you know what, they are awesome. Um, the first one is including Ray Traced Distant Field Soft Shadows. This is a pretty exciting one, creating very realistic, soft-looking shadows. I don't like hard-looking shadows, and that's my son at the door. He's trying to be annoying right now, and he's definitely, you know, succeeding. Um, he doesn't like playing in his bedroom. Um, it also includes new directional light, and I mean, look at this. This looks amazing. This would be good for a nice, scary game. Next is this screen space subsurface scattering you can easily see the difference between you know the three images and they are looking fantastic many people are excited about this new release and I'm definitely going to be using it and you also get dynamic shadows on mobile that's pretty cool right that's the exaggerating uh, well left no subsurface scattering okay middle realistic settings right exaggerated settings okay okay I like it it looks really good um, Unreal Motion Graphics is officially out of experimental now I was trying to use this to build myself uh, uh, a nice little uh, play start options menus remember and I got as far as you know making the whole thing itself with the buttons didn't work never completed that but I will get to the rest of that soon uh, you got UI styles and UI animations you have in, you even have uh, dynamic UI D, uh, DP scaling rules for all games so if it's on mobile it will automatically scale to mobile if it's on PC it will scale to any resolution that you have uh, definitely very impressive uh, I like this a lot Next is C++ Hot Reload. If you're customizing a game inside Visual Studios or Xcode, what will currently happen is uh, build a vehicle game will instantly hot load the game, the, uh, the, the project that you're currently running inside Unreal Engine 4.5. Now that is a huge feature. Um, that definitely will save a lot of time. As I said, it also works in Xcode as well. And whatever editor uh, they use in Linux. I'm not too sure what it is. But it's great. Now you got full game C++ Hot Reload which is great. Instant compiling right there. And the sample content has been updated with advanced vehicle template. So this um, this will include shocks and things for the wheels so you'll be able to go over bumps a little easier. So it's and um, also have been added with the twin stick shooter blue plate template. So you know everybody likes that whole twin stick thing going on where they try to be an aviation pilot on a computer simulation. Also you get VR headset support and other great stuff like that. Alright so next is artistic template map. Now this one looks really good. Um, it's a testing area to try out different lighting setups to see how your content is affected. Now that is very cool. Uh, animation, the animation rigging system, this one's really good to know. Um, the new animation retargeted system allows you to convert animations between different skeletons using the humanoid rig. That's going to save me a ton of time because I'm definitely going to be doing that with the model that I currently have. He's called the Sexy Adventure Man. Yeah. Alright, there's a video here. If you want to look, this will all be in the description below. The media playback and capture, so it's video textures. That's going to be pretty nifty. So you record like a little movement where it goes around and around, and then you stick it as a texture or a material, and it will like play what you've recorded. So that's good if you want to add like weird little ads into games and stuff. Um, open XR frame capture. You can now save rich data including HDR color, 16 pixel depth into an open, uh, open EXR file. And, you know, let's include from, oh wow. 
Look at that. Very realistic lighting. Beautiful. Um, new project creation window. Now this is pretty good. I like when things redo their UI, uh, UE, their UI, and you know, I mean, come on, I'm on the latest version of Windows, Windows 9 RTM. What? That's there as a joke. Um, it, it should say um, Windows 9 RTM build. Uh, I am God. MIDI sucks, but unfortunately, the rest of it didn't show up. No idea why. All right, so. Uh, target hardware selection, so desktop slash console. The two are completely different; it should be completely separate. So I would just select desktop. Maximum quality with starter content, so on and so forth. I need to export all of my current textures, models, and things inside the starter content folder. It makes it a ton easier when moving things. This is your target hardware. Optimize settings from mobile, scale of 3D or 2D, and you know, you can include mobile, DR, Bloom, you can disable a whole bunch of settings. Uh, the new tutorial system is in, so when you open something up, you'll get this flashing icon up top, you click it and it'll teach you how to use everything. Totally find that awesome for beginners. And the tutorial browser, animation, basics, blueprints, editors, foliage, installation, landscape. That should go over just a few of them. And a tutorial blueprint so it will definitely teach you how to build blueprints and you know maybe get the hang of something great jeez six minutes already you also got new help buttons next to everything and uh, documentation actors and documentation nodes they're just going all out to try to make this one of the most used uh, uh, engines out there I mean, if they really wanted to do that, they just lower it to fifteen dollars. But they're not going to do that. Good price that they got going right now. Actually, I'm planning on uh, renewing soon. And that's it. This is pretty good. All right. So, tell me what you think in you know the comments below. As I said, this will be in uh, the description, of course. And thank you for watching. If you liked the video, thank you. If you subscribed, thank you. And don't forget to share the video. Bye, guys.